get into our video series on what to expect at your steam cleaner before you purchase it. We want to talk about a subject that's pretty touchy that most competitors won't even address. But we want to address it firsthand to make you understand about pressure drop. Now, we have a lot of people that have never used steam before. This is your first purchase. You're not sure what kind of steam cleaner you want to buy. And we know that you're comparing specs. You're comparing specs based on pressure, based on heat, based on attachments, based on hose length. We understand that. We understand there's a million steam cleaners out there. Now, what a lot of competitors will not tell you is pressure drop because it's, it's normal. It's going to happen. We understand you as a customer, you're not going to like that. Nobody wants to talk about pressure drop. It's a taboo subject. But we want to address it. You're going to get pressure drop. You're going to get pressure drop with a Vapor Chief steamer. You're going to get pressure drop with any of the other competitor steamers out there. But we want to explain why. Why you're going to get a pressure drop. It's the, it's the science and the technology behind making steam only at 120 volt. Now, where steam originated in Europe, they're at 240 volt. At 240 volt, which is double the voltage of North American electricity, you can double your heater wattage. When you're able to double your heater wattage on basically the same size machine and the same size boiler, you don't really have to worry about a pressure drop. You'll spray your steam and the needle won't move. The needle will stay there basically as long as you want to use it. So when a customer asks me, well, how long can I use my steam cleaner or what kind of working time do I get? It's not about hours or minutes to be able to use a steam cleaner. You're not using it like a pressure washer. It's not never ending amount of steam. And the reason is it's, it's the theory of letting air out of a balloon. Think of how long it takes you to blow up a balloon to the full volume of the balloon. It takes a while. You can let air out of a balloon almost instantly. And then to blow that balloon up, which would be recovery of your steam pressure, it takes a little bit of effort to blow your balloon back up. Now, steam is going to be a little bit quicker than that. Obviously, you need your machine to heat up. For a Vapor Chief Refill 100, it needs about 9 or 10 minutes to heat up to 100 PSI. As soon as you start to use it, you're going to get a pressure drop. People ask why. Why am I seeing a pressure drop? Why should I get a pressure drop? Well, the reason why you're getting a pressure drop is because at 120 volts and on a, on a 15 amp circuit, you can only have a maximum of 1800 watts. We use a 1750 watt heater on all of our Vapor Chief units. So at 1750 watts, we can't make steam as fast as you might want to use it. So if you expect to hold your, your trigger, if you want to hold your steam trigger down for a certain period of time, and expect not to get a pressure drop, well, that's not going to happen. You're going to get a pressure drop. Now, once you let go of your steam trigger, you're going to get a recovery. So you're going to get a recovery back to full pressure. And the rule of thumb is if you use your steamer for a minute, it's going to take a minute, a minute and a half to recover to full pressure. Now, what we see with a lot of people is they fall in love with looking at the, looking at the gauge. Now, we use a pressure gauge because we want to be true to our readers. We're not using a digital display where we could program the digital display. machine is heating or not, and it also tells you that we're advertising our machine at 100 PSI, you're getting 100 PSI. But the downside of that is that when you blow steam, the pressure gauge is going to drop. Now, if you have your steam valve open all the way, and you're blowing steam like this, you're going to get the pressure gauge to drop a little bit faster. Now the difference between we, th we feel in our machines and a lot of the competitors' machines is because we're using an external heater, we're using a heater that sits right at the bottom of the boiler and radiates the heat through the walls of the boiler, and we're trying to max it out at 1750 watts, and it's also the design of our boiler, the size of our boiler, the nozzle tip that we're using, there's a lot of engineering that goes into this. Yes, you're going to get a pressure drop, but yes, you're also going to recover fairly quick. Now the recovery is not going to be instant. The recovery is not going to be instantly back to 100. Your pressure drop might be gradual, but at the same time, your recovery is going to be pretty gradual back up to your specified pressure. But we implore you not to fall in love with looking at the gauge as you're steaming. Because if you didn't have the gauge or if it was a digital display and it was popping out some other kind of numbers, all you need to do is steam. If you just steam, clean what you need 
to clean and don't fall in love with looking at the gauge, you're going to have a pressure drop, but your working pressure is still going to be high enough on any of our machines where it's not really going to slow you down too much. Now, we've used and sold machines over the years where obviously the pressure wasn't starting quite as high. Our single refill machine at 75 PSI, that's a really good starting point for a single boiler machine. Our refill 100 machine, we really don't want to increase the pressure too much more than 100. We feel 100 is more than enough. And our injection machine at 125, we feel is more than enough. So you're starting at a higher pressure. Sure, you're going to get a pressure drop, but your working pressure is still going to be sufficient to do what you need to do, and then the machine is going to recover. So no, we're going to tell you no, you cannot blow steam for five minutes straight and expect the steam pressure to hold at a real steady rate. It's going to drop, but it's not going to drop to nothing. It's still going to be able to work. Now again, the true, the true way of using a steam cleaner is to cycle it on for a minute, minute and a half, maximum of two minutes, wipe up what you've just cleaned. As we put our steam wand down, that closes the system. It allows the machine to recover and go back up to full pressure. So the next time you grab your wand, you're in a different area, you should be at full pressure or close to it the next time that you want to clean something. So pressure drop is a touchy subject. We're covering it. We want you to know about it. We're working with 120 volts. In North America, that's what we're limited to, but we think we've engineered one of the best 120 volt steamers out there. We're starting at a really high pressure. If your requirement is that you need to be able to blow steam for five or 10 minutes straight, then any 120 volt steamer is not gonna be for you.